It's the Weather Extreme video, the afternoon edition for Wednesday, September 2nd. I'm James Spann. Chance of a few widely scattered showers through Friday. A little better chance of scattered storms over the Labor Day weekend. Let's go in there and talk things over. Water vapor satellite view, ridging in place here. Although moisture levels are increasing, a little trough is lifting out of Texas, aiding in that. And look at that, below 90 again today so far for Birmingham. Of course, that's just one hour. That was the uh, 2 o'clock observation. They might touch 90 at the airport before the day is over. If by chance Birmingham stays under 90, this will be the 18th consecutive day with a high below 90 for the Magic City. Hey, we'll check the radar. Whenever we see isolated showers, that's what we mean. A large percentage of the state dry. You can see a few small showers around the Black Belt region of West Alabama. There's one up in northern uh, Blunt County around Sneed. And that's about it. Uh, and we'll maintain that risk of widely scattered showers tomorrow and Friday, but nothing widespread. There's the watch warning map. We've got some uh, red flag advisories out west for wildfire dangers there. Convective outlook, couple of small marginal risks well to the north of here. Alabama in green. That means a storm is possible somewhere, but organized severe weather not expected. Rain for the next five days, valid through Monday morning. About a half inch, maybe for the northern half of the state, uh, a little more down to the south. And again, for those beach goers for the Labor Day weekend, we'll say about six to eight hours of sun each day on the Gulf Coast this weekend with the typical chance of a passing storm from time to time. Tropics, Fred, we hardly knew you. Uh, it's in the process of dissipating or becoming post-tropical as it gains latitude. It's fizzling out. The rest of the Atlantic Basin, very quiet. We expect no tropical storm worries for Labor Day for the United States. Okie doke, model fans. This is the 12Z GFS, valid tomorrow at 1 o'clock local time. Big trough on the West Coast, out ridging for the Midwest. Heights about average here. And tomorrow, I think, a lot like today. Partly sunny, maybe a few widely scattered showers, and the high pretty close to 90. Same thing on Friday. If you like the numbers game, the chance of any one spot getting a shower, only about one in eight. So hopefully no uh, lightning delays for the high school games this week. Saturday, kicking off a holiday weekend. Boy, look at the heat ridge. A 588 bubble from the Great Lakes to New England. That'll be pretty hot. But a cool trough coming through the western states. And for us, really not a lot of change. This is suggesting that any showers on Saturday should be widely spaced, much like tomorrow and Friday. And the high would be upper 80s, maybe touching 90. Sunday, moisture levels a little deeper, so maybe a little bump in the coverage of showers and storms. But still, they should be scattered in nature on Sunday with a high in the mid to upper 80s. And the same thing Monday. The sun out at times, maybe a passing shower or storm in scattered spots with a high between 86 and 89. Tuesday, we all go back to work, same thing, maybe a few scattered showers. And here's a week from today. This is Wednesday, September 9th. Pretty sharp trough passing through the upper Midwest up north. Winds aloft down here are light, and again, enough moisture for a few hit-and-miss showers. Here's the end of the forecast, Saturday, September 12th. Broad troughing beginning to form over the eastern U.S. Looks like a surface front trying to work its way down in here from the north. Temperatures off the ensemble, you can see a clear downward trend. Uh, highs around 90 maybe tomorrow and Friday, 80s next week. And by mid-month, highs close to 80 and lows down in the lower 60s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.